So really quickly, what child dedication is, is simply a time in which we as a church come alongside families who are dedicating their children uh, to God. They're saying publicly that we want our children to know Jesus. They're saying publicly that we give our children back to God, recognizing that he's a gift to us. Um, and it, this idea of consecrating our children or dedicating our children is a biblical concept. We see it first in Exodus, in Exodus 13, in the, pa- uh, the Passover, when God came and delivered the nation uh, from the Egyptians. And he gave the instruction to put blood on the doorpost and that the death angel would pass over the Israelites. And in verse 2 of chapter 13, and then repeated again in verse 12, God says to the nation, consecrate. That word consecrate in the original language means to set aside, to dedicate your firstborn. Dedicate them to me as a reminder of who I am and what I've done for you. And so um, we see this concept throughout scripture. You see um, Hannah dedicating Samuel to, to the Lord for uh, for, 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 for his uh, uh, whole life to, to serve. Um, we see Jesus, uh, Mary and Joseph, dedicating Jesus on the eighth day um, in line with what Moses had commanded in Exodus 13. So uh, there's nothing in this little ceremony that we're doing here that provides any kind of salvation, any kinds of spiritual grace to these children. It's simply a dedication It's an act on the part of their parents to dedicate their kids to to God. So we're going to invite the Lobby family to come on up. Chuck and Kara, you guys are around here. There we go. Um, And they will be dedicating Jacob Daniel, who was born on June the 28th. Uh, Jacob's got an older brother, Elijah, who is looking quite dapper today with his tie, looking all sharp. Um, And um, we're so, so glad to have you guys... uh, as a part of our church um, in the ways that you're involved. And then uh, here's what uh, Kara writes in terms of a little description of Jacob. Uh, Jacob's, uh, Jacob is a sweet, happy, curious, and observant little guy. Uh, he loves spending time with his big brother, Elijah. He is curious. Look at him just checking me out, right? Uh, uh, Jacob was a ray of sunshine during a hard time for our family. We're so thankful for him and the joy that he has brought us. And he's happy. Uh, they've selected, uh, Chuck and Kara have selected Ephesians 2.10 as a verse to be prayed over um, Jacob. For we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. That verse says that God's got good things for Jacob that he prepared in advance for him. Chuck and Kara, um, do you uh, willingly dedicate Jacob back to God, recognizing that he's a gift from him to you? And are you committed to living in front of him as a follower of Jesus and introducing him to Jesus? If so, say we do. All right. Jacob, will you come to me? You think I can hold you without you crying? All right, big boy. Checking me out. All right, let's pray over him. God, we thank you for the Lobby family. We thank you for Chuck and Kara, the way that you brought them together as husband and wife many years ago for the incredible gift that Elijah has been to them and now, now Jacob. We pray a blessing over Jacob. God, we ask that you would, that you would work in his little heart and in his mind and that you would draw him to yourself. We thank you, as I think about that song that we sang earlier, that that you're at work in this city, which also indicates that you're at work in Chuck and Kara's life and at work in in Jacob's life. And we ask that you would give him a desire to know you, that he would have a desire to seek after you with all of his heart, with all of his soul, with all of his mind, and all of his strength. He would learn to love you fully. God, we ask that you will protect him that he would grow to be a strong and healthy young man. I ask for Chuck and Kara that you'll give them wisdom, help them 
as they, uh, as they parent two, two kids now. Give them patience. Give them just uh, um, uh, the, the wisdom as a mom and a dad and, and the energy that's required to chase two little ones around. Just bless this family. Bless their marriage as husband and wife as well. And it's in your name, Jesus, we pray these things. Amen. You did awesome, buddy. Not a peep. <laughs>